and after a boat ride and a car ride, our UTV has finally made it to our property. <laughs> Nothing here is ever just simple. It's always a process. That looks so steep. This guy is 50,000 times braver than I would ever be. Oh. Oh my god. Only in Panama. Time has come to harvest my baby. I've watched it from a tiny pineapple over the past few months grow into something absolutely beautiful, worth its weight in, shall we say gold. Okay, so we're going to harvest our pineapple, our very first one ever. And then I'm gonna go take some bananas that were also harvested from our property and we're gonna have a banana pineapple smoothie. All right, Brian, do the honors. Well, that was simple. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, uh, you dropped that pineapple? Be in trouble. That was professional pineapple picker. Yeah. Okay, so I brought the pineapple up and I heard that there was a white variety that my neighbor told me about. I think this is it. I have one of hers that's still getting ripe, so I'll compare it when I cut it open. Okay, I've cut this thing. Juice is literally dripping out of it. It could not be any more perfect. And the taste, oh my God. So I'm going to film Brian trying his first bite. You should have filmed me because I almost lost my mind. Oh my God, that is so good. I know. That is like different than normal pineapple I've ever had. Absolutely. 
like bar none, that's the best pineapple. Okay, we already cut the top off of this one and have it sitting in water so we can reproduce it and make more. So I've been talking to Popsy about becoming a chicken egg entrepreneur because we eat a lot and the gringos eat a lot. And I know that he can produce much healthier eggs from chickens that are treated a lot better than the ones in the grocery stores here. So today we're in Changuinola and he's starting his chicken enterprise. Uh, we've given him a lot of materials for building coops and he's been busy doing that for the like last couple of weeks and now he's ready for chickens. So we're here at Melo in Changuinola and it's chicken day. I have to say, I do feel kind of bad for these little guys. I know they're gonna have a good home at Popsies because they get to run around. Well, we're at Popsies today. How long has it been since you've had these chickens? I think around two months. About two months, yeah. So about two months, these are the babies that we bought. They're big now, and we're here to get one of their cousins for Sunday dinner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so these were all actually born here at Popsies. So how many is that? Another 20? Yes. You're starting a chicken empire, Pops. <laughs> You're gonna be the pollo king of Bocas. <laughs> okay, so Popsy doesn't just have chickens, he has turkeys too. And that was this was like a really big deal because the turkeys are really expensive, like like really expensive. How much did you pay for those turkeys, Popsy? Like $50? It's like $50 for a turkey. So he had a boy turkey and then he got a female, which she's back there in the weeds and they had seven babies and he was so excited and they were eating well and doing great. And then uh, Popsy's girlfriend started feeding them by hand grass and then they wouldn't eat anything except for grass. So, I mean, this just happened because he's been so excited about these turkeys. And he said the only way you could make them eat is literally if you sat there, picked grass off the ground and handed it to them. And he went to the vet in Changinola and the vet said, well, there's a, a, you feed them the same stuff as you feed chickens for the first 15 days. Then you switch them over to like the high growth formula for the turkeys. They wouldn't touch it, only the grass. And they all starved to death. So he's hoping to get some more. Well, this counts as a first for me. Now I have had fresh killed yard chicken before, but not like a whole one that was specifically given to me to prepare. So this is a gift from Popsy. Uh, he killed it just fresh today for us. Uh, you can see it has its little feet tucked in there in case we wanted chicken feet. So what have we eaten today? So far, eggs for breakfast that came from Popsy's farm. Um, uh, bacon that was made by an expat here that actually sources the pigs locally in David and uh, butchers them and smokes them and cuts them and does everything he needs to do at his house. So everything this morning for breakfast was local. Lunch, granted, was more processed. We had uh, turkey burgers. But then dinner is going to be this fresh chicken from Popsy's that I am stewing in this pot with, let's see, um, locally grown carrots, uh, onions, which I'm not sure are local, celery, which I'm not sure is local, and peppercorns from my very own pepper vine. Oh, 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 and what am I missing? Smoothies, we had smoothies, uh, we had smoothies this morning that were made from bananas and pineapple that we picked here on our property mixed with a papaya that our neighbor Isabel gave to us the other day for helping her out. So it's just amazing how much more locally sourced food we eat here than we ever have before. And bonus, it's all really good. So we have a ton of avocados and every one of them is like super, 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 super duper high up in the trees. We're all short around here. 
So um, we've already picked some bananas this morning. It's early. The guys just got here to work. So we're dealing with fruit first before they go work on the fence. So Timo's going to head up and see if he can get some of the avocados that are up in the top of this one. Makes me nervous. Ah, yay! No, no, bájale y saca y échalo. Bájale. Ajá, eso. <laughs> this is our brand new kayak that we just bought. So we have our house sitter and Ike, our house sitter anew. Hi. <laughs> just got here yesterday and he's taking Ike out in the kayak that we have had. And then this will be uh, me and Brian's first time in the rainbow kayak. And June is a good month to go out in the rainbow kayak. So we get all of our fresh eggs from Popsy and um, I pulled out an egg this morning and I would said to Brian, look at this egg, it's so weird. It's like really long. And then I cracked it and it was a double yolk. I've never seen such a thing. So I'm gonna crack this one and see if the same thing, yeah, check that out. Something new and exciting always in Panama.